Hi, welcome to my channel, Granny Annie Creates. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet from a written diagram pattern. And this one's for a granny square. So this pattern here will give you a granny square. So let's get started. Need a ball of wool and a crochet hook. And we're going to start with a slip stitch onto the hook. Now we're going to look at our pattern and we've got six chains. I'll put the little figure in there and a slip stitch. So that's how we start our pattern. So there's one, two, three, four, oh. The wall keeps splitting. Four. Try that again. Five, six, and then we're going to slip stitch it on the hook. And there we have that middle part of the pattern. Then we're going to do a chain of three, and we're going to work our way around that way around the pattern. So we're going to do a chain of three and two doubles into the ring. So chain three, one, two, three, and then two doubles. So the double is the wrap around and in stitch. Wrap around and out, wrap around and work two, wrap around and work two. You know you've come to the end of the stitch because you've just got one bit of yarn on the hook. And we'll do that again, wrap around and in, wrap around and out. Wrap around and work two, wrap around and work two. And there we've done that first little bit on the pattern. And we know it's a double on the pattern here because that means how many times you wrap it around the hook before you start your work. So we've done this little cluster here. We're going to work around to the next bit and that takes a chain of three. So we're going to do chain of three. One, two, three. Then we're going to do this next bit, which is three doubles into the ring. So wrap around and in, wrap around and out, wrap around, work one, wrap around, work the other one. So that's one double done. And this is the second double being worked here. And the third double. There. So we've made the first corner on our granny square and we're here on the pattern. So we're going to do chain of three and three doubles. One, two, three and three doubles. One, two, three and then we're right here chain of three and three doubles one double two double three doubles and then so we've made three corners now on our granny square. We're just going to make the last corner. So we're here, we're going to do chain of three and we're going to slip stitch it there. So one, two, three and then we're going to slip stitch it to there. And there we have the first round of the granny square. So we're just going to cut off Oh, missed. <laughs> there we go. Uh, pull the yarn through what's on your hook. Give it a tug and it should stay secure enough until you're ready to sew in your ends. So that's the blue part of the diagram. We're going to change coloured yarns now and do 
the orange part. So I'll end up looking like that. So the blue on this granny square is the orange on the pattern, on the written pattern. So we're going to tie on our new colour into the corner. Oh, got a bit of purple getting in there too. Come on, just the blue. So I'm just going to tie that on. I like to do tie it on twice so it's, it's definitely on there. And then have a look at our pattern. We've got our chain here that starts the height of the stitch and then two doubles, chain three, three doubles and it's all going into this one corner space of the previous round. So all in here we've got a chain of three, two doubles, chain of three, three doubles into that one corner. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, uh, one double. My ends of the purple one keep getting in the way but that's okay I can sew them in in a bit. Just to move them to one side if they're getting in your way and keep going. <laughs> so there's our first little cluster, that little bit. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do another three doubles all into that same chain space from the previous round. Three doubles, so that was number one. This is number two and number three now if we look at our diagram we've done that so we've got a chain one big chain to jump us over that cluster and to get us onto the next corner so just chain one and then we're in on the other next corner i'm going to fill that corner with three doubles chain of three and three doubles one two three doubles so we've just done that bit now we're going to do chain of three one two three and then we're going to do this bit which is the three doubles and you can tell it's the double stitch in the diagram because it just has one strike through and that's how many times you put it over the hook to go into the work so diagrams are really good if you um, speak in a different language, American or US terminology. The diagram is the same. It's just the name of the stitch that's different in US and UK. That's why diagrams are really good. And you can sort of see what you're up to quicker than keep rereading re the words. Although the words make sense when you first read a pattern and maybe the diagram makes you go, can't do that. When you break down the diagram it does make more sense and if it's your book you can colour in the different rounds which makes it stand out a lot easier. And uh, yeah so when I'm looking at a pattern first the first thing I'm wondering is is it written in American or English terminology because I speak American in crochet I just find it easier and then I'm asking myself um, you know does the diagram make sense and if it doesn't you can then read the words that sometimes go along with the diagram and then that can help you also work out what the person meant when they wrote the diagram because sometimes it's not totally clear and then if it's still not making sense just pick up your hook and your yarn and just start um, crocheting because sometimes you can just get a bit ah, with diagrams but once you break it down into the different rounds it starts making more sense and yeah perseverance and you'll you'll get there sometimes I break the diagram down into two or three rows and then I do that several times and then I'll do the next part several times so I'm making like two or three motifs at the same time so I'll do just the middle bit you know several times like that 
and then I'll go bigger and bigger and bigger and work out the next two or three rows and then do those while they're fresh in my head because sometimes it's you know you don't want to keep looking at the diagram because it slows you down so once you've got the rhythm of the stitches you can uh, yeah work faster and then wear a slip stitch to end the round so yeah if diagrams daunt you don't let them <laughs> just keep persevering and uh, they will start making sense eventually and just remember that crochet is worked in rounds or rows and when you're reading a, a straight pattern you'll read it that way and then you'll go that way and then you'll go that way and then you'll go that way so whereas in the round you'll be going round and round and round and round so that diagram will make you a beautiful set of <laughs> granny squares hi if you're liking my content today it'd be great if you could hit the like button share and subscribe this will help other people find my challenge channel and I really appreciate it and if you want to connect further with me and in my crochet world click the comment section below and there'll be links to my free ebook on beginner crochet stitches my patterns and other tons of other stuff to help you with your crochet knitting and sewing thanks for watching